Hi guys, so I don't know if you have heard or if you have seen ELF's newest addition to their cosmetics line this fall are insanely gorgeous and chic new brushes. When I first saw these, my immediate reaction was I had to call my boyfriend over and show him every single one and like rub them on his face. I'm like, look how soft these are. What I love about these brushes is that they are designed to be functional. They are obviously affordable because you guys know e.l.f. and they're just really pretty to look at. Each brush goes for around five to twelve dollars depending on the brush. It is made with really soft white bristles, a pretty silver fitting and then a triangular shaped acrylic transparent handle. So what is nice about that is that it's not going to roll off your counter or your table whenever you set it down and also it just makes your grip better when you're using it to apply makeup. The one that I would 100% buy and recommend to you guys is this one right here. It is just so unique and I really love the way that it applied my uh, bronzer as like a contour. This one was a surprise for me, the 104. I really like this for putting my concealer on. I've never used a brush like this to do it and I found that it was just like the most perfect ultimate shape for getting in around the nose area. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos videos I am uploading now Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and also please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know down in the comments if you are thinking about trying this set and if you are let me know which brushes that you are most excited about I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye okay so to get started with this tutorial the first brush I'm using is called the eyeshadow brush and this goes for five dollars and I'm simply picking up from the coastal Scents revealed smoky palette just this very light tan color it's neutral it's matte and you just want to work this all over the entire lid from the lash line to the brow bone then I'm taking the smoky smudge brush so this is dome shaped and what that helps to do is diffuse the shadow color a bit more so what I'm gonna do is just lay down this matte gray shade first to kind of start my winged liner look from the middle of my lash line and then going diagonally up towards the end of my brow and then I'm going back in with my eyeshadow brush to blend things out <laughs> Next is the dual sided eyebrow brush. So on one side is a spoolie and the other side is a slanted angle brush and this is what we're going to be using to put the dark matte brown shade right underneath of the gray and then slowly building it up and creating a faded effect. Lastly, for the eyes, I'm using the eyeliner brush, also $5, and this has a tapered tip, so it makes precision very easy, so if you want to just put this in an exact spot, this is what you can do with this brush, and I am just picking up the blackest shade in the palette and putting that as close to the lash line as I possibly can. And then going back through with a little bit more dark brown shadow just to blend that black shadow out a bit. The lashes I'm using today are by Kiss. They are number 07, my favorites. I always go back to these. I'm priming my skin first. This is the Tarte Clean Sleep Poreless Perfecting Primer. Ofra Silk Peptide Foundation. It was a little bit dark for me, which is why in the next clip you'll see I'll use a little bit more concealer to lighten things up. The brush I used was the Airbrush Blender. It's $10. It has tightly bound angle hairs that are paired with a flat-sided surface so that you can blend liquids and creams and powders or whatever you want to just buff onto your skin, but unfortunately that foundation was not working out for me. So this is called the Sculpting Brush, $10. It's got a curved shape, also very tightly packed hairs, and this is what helps to achieve the ultimate contour, especially around your nose and eyebrow areas. I love how thin it made my concealer look. Like it, it totally prevents you from applying it super heavy, and I love how I can put this exactly where I want this and you know not have to worry about getting it everywhere. I can just contour very, very easily with it. And then I went ahead and blended my concealer out with a blending sponge. Went in with a little bit of Laura Mercier setting powder.
Here I'm using the spoolie on that dual-sided eyebrow brush to fix up the inner corners of my eyebrows. And now I'm going in with the Multi Blender Massager and my Kat Von D Light and Shade Palette. I'm picking up that middle shade to bronze out my face. So this is a short and curved brush with very tiny little massage bulbs on it that help to blend any powder or foundation or bronzer like I'm doing here. And it just honestly does a great job of blending. That's the number one thing that I have to say about this is I was amazed at how beautiful it made my bronzer look. I contoured with it as well using the darker shade in the palette under my jawline area. So now I'm going in with the powder brush, $12. This is a very light and fluffy brushed, very loosely packed hairs. This is what you wanna use when you want like a super clean finish with any press or loose powders. I used my NARS blush in Outlaw. I also like the airbrush stipple for applying very loose sheer powders to the face. And so that's why I went in with the uh, highlighter from Kathleen Light's Makeup Geek with that and that is $10. Going in with the eyeshadow brush to apply the medium shade in the Kat Von D palette under my eye area on that lower lash line and my Julep Length Matters Mascara to blend the natural lashes in with the falsies. And I also applied this on my lower lashes as well. I was totally feeling the everyday kind of vibe with this look, so I decided to do more of a sparkly, rosy lip. I went in with Ofra Lip Liner in Spicy first all over, and then my Neutrogena Moisture Color Stick in Soft Raspberry, and I just patted that in with my finger. And that's it. So just to end the video on a good note, I loved all the brushes and I would highly recommend them to you guys. Let me know down in the comments which ones in particular that you're really excited about or thinking about getting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.